So here I am again down at the the beach hut. And you can just see the sun coming out there. But we've got a dog walker tonight and his bike. going to be some of this sun action lights up these clouds because it's the perfect setup tonight you've got well done fella good lad I'm going to take a quick one from here I'm going to try and get try and get the hut and the sun in Go on, mate. There we go. Full sun blaring away there. It's a bit of an offset angle to what I want, but this lens is not wide enough to get the sun in there as well. So I'm going to keep closing this angle down to see if I can bring the sun and the hut together there we go it's nice with the uh, the clouds above the very dark clouds there angle that up to make more feature of the cloud yeah it's looking good so what are we on f20 I'm gonna to go to f25 see if I can make a starburst out of the Sun yeah maybe Okay, I'm going to close, close in a little bit more just before the sun goes because it's glowing it seems to be glowing up a little bit oh I've got to work fast because the sun's going here now sun's going is that glow going to get any brighter Will I be able to get it from here quickly? The fence posts in the background quickly compose that. Quick, quick, quick. The race against time. Yeah, my eyes are watering. The last of the sun going there. I'm just going to catch it look yeah and now it's gone right so the Sun's gone so that was all very rushed as per usual with me so let's see let's see what I can make of it with this afterglow let's see if the afterglow comes off oh, a little doggy there look making footprints in that nice sand so what what I need to do is I need to find a composition I'm really happy with and I think I just need to stick at it and I think I've probably found it I think this is the one on that pink can do better than that there's people walking into the frame now so we've got people walking in there so 
you what, I'm going to move to this side because then you get the sand if I move to there oh they've come out see if I can get the sand to the left if I stay here again see if I can I'm too far forward now I need to come back a little bit push myself into the ground okay there we go we're going to capture all the sand now as sort of like a wave coming down the beach Well, it doesn't look that obvious on the preview maybe if I go for a longer but it's a shorter we learned yesterday it was a shorter shut speed so let's that's two seconds let's see what happens at two seconds bring it down to a third of a second I'm sure I can make something of that come on I just need to catch now all those clouds just catch illuminate and then we're, we're looking good so I'm going to move move round get my post in the middle here level my horizon one point six seconds F twenty five and I think we're gonna have to concede defeat yet again third time out it's just not going to catch so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk past the fence and we'll see if I can get it from this angle slightly different view oh sand in the face oh oh god right Oh, it's hard work. It's hard work when you're getting blasted. That's what I like about a prime lens, you have to move your feet. You can't just zoom in and out. Like the cool kids. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple of brackets around that exposure try and get more detail out of the sand which I'm not sure is going to be possible okay right I think I might leave it there for this evening it's just not going to catch is it it's interesting because when you look up to the sky you can see the higher clouds have caught and they are pink but there's this, these lower clouds what are obviously very dark and they're they're, they're stopping everything from uh, from catching on which is a shame okay well 
As per usual, I'll run through a... Oh, there we go, look at that. What I was going to say is I'll run through a slideshow of the best images of the all the images from here and you can tell me what you think and see if there's any what stand out. I'm going to call it a day. And we'll see how they turn out on the computer later on. And uh, see how they compare to last night's effort. It's, uh, it's nice to be here again. So it must be it's my third shoot here and uh, it's great it's nice to have a mini project what I just stumbled upon you know there was no planning or pre-thought it was just something I saw when I was in the dunes over there in a few videos previously and uh, yeah it's turned out well I'm pretty pretty enthused by it all and that's what we want isn't it and uh, you know, it makes you get up and get out. Well, it's made me do that anyway. So I'm quite pleased about that. So, uh, I'm making this video without any of these Ainsdale Beach series coming out. So, hopefully they're going down well and people are taking to the, uh, the project, if you will. I'm uh, heading to the Lake District in the next day or two, so hopefully be there for for my autumn shoot and we'll see how I get on there hopefully I'll be able to share some content with you from there but yeah let me know what you think of the the images in the uh, in this video and tell me in the comments below which one's your favorite and why and we'll see how things go from there so again thanks for watching thanks for your support and I'll see you again soon on the next video all the best for now